affiliate dashboard. So this is what your affiliate partners will see or something like this as they join your affiliate program. So this is a customizable uh, website, web page. Basically, we're running it for you, but you can customize it. You can even put it on your own domain so that it looks like an extension of your own website. Uh, the brand, the look and feel, we'll go through that in a little bit. Uh, so each one of your affiliates gets access to this. The look and feel is consistent, but the actual dashboard is unique to each partner of yours. Reason being, everyone's got a different link. Everyone's got different stats. So we're showing them a real-time real look at uh, their own affiliate stats here. All right. Kicking things off, we've got an affiliate code. So this is uh, can be used as a di uh, discount or coupon code for those of you using Shopify or Big Commerce. So that's a way to potentially track word of mouth affiliates, a uh, way to track Instagram referrals. We also have a referral link, and this is going to be the most popular way that you're going to uh, get referral traffic. So each affiliate of yours, they have this link. They can each post it to their website, their blog, uh, email newsletter, social media channels, anywhere they have access to online, and they will get credit for anyone who clicks through this link and ends up on uh, your website. So posting this link as easy as copying it here and then pasting it uh, where I mentioned really anywhere that they have access to online. A couple nice things, I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of affiliate links, a couple nice things about Lead Dino uh, powered referral links. One is that they are direct links to your website. So from a search engine standpoint, from Google standpoint, this is good, it counts as an inbound uh, link, a direct link to your website. Uh, from a visitor standpoint, it's good because they click the link, they end up direct on your site so they're not getting bounced around the internet. Uh, they, they click and boom, they are on uh, your website. One of the keys, uh, key advantages of using uh, Lead Nano to power your affiliate program is the dashboard, the ease of use. One of the most popular features that we have here is this social media uh, sharing line, uh, as you can imagine, which we uh, let affiliates share their links on social media with a single click. So for example, I'm gonna hit this Facebook button and that basically does everything I need to do to share my link for me. So it logs me into Facebook, it tees up this post. With an additional click, I can post this to my Facebook feed. Uh, my friends and followers are then gonna see this post come through their respective Facebook feeds. And as those folks click through or tap through, Credit goes to the affiliate who shared it. Same idea on Twitter, so easy enough to share on Twitter. We hit the tweet button, logs us into Twitter, and then it tees up a tweet with an additional click. We can send this out. Our Twitter followers are gonna see this come through their tweet streams, and as these folks click through, credit goes to the affiliate who shared it. Instagram sharing, same idea. We now also have text message sharing. We have WhatsApp sharing, uh, WhatsApp sharing. These are made especially convenient by our mobile apps. So these are ways that your affiliates can get the dashboard that I'm walking you through. They can get it directly onto their phone. So your dashboard specifically, what we're gonna do is when they download the affiliate dashboard app, they'll input their email address. We will then recognize them as a member of your affiliate program and we'll give them everything that they need uh, directly from their phones. Uh, progress updated in real time. So the number of visitors, leads, and purchases that each affiliate has credit for updated so they can see that. So nice for them to be able to see from the very first time somebody clicks their link that they've got credit for it. And then affiliate payouts and commissions. Uh, these are also updated in real time down here as well. So each affiliate able to see uh, what they are currently do, what they've got in upcoming months, and what they have been paid out to date. All right, a couple more things on the dashboard. Marketing materials section contains uh, resources such as banner ads, infographics. We've got the HTML associated with not only the artwork, but we also have the affiliates link already embedded so they can grab this HTML or have their web person grab it, copy and paste it, put it on their own site, and they'll get credit for anyone who clicks through here and ends up on uh, your website. Uh, finally, uh, newsletter section, last thing I'll cover, uh, these, we have archives posted here online for new affiliates. Uh, let me actually show you, let me show you a recent one that I sent here. This is an affiliate newsletter that I sent out to our Lead Dino affiliates, letting them know that affiliate uh, commissions were going out the door. That's always a nice way to get everyone's attention. So if you're looking for uh, newsletter fodder, that's one I'd recommend. I'll actually walk you through some sample newsletters uh, that I do have available for you within the app. In a, uh, in a couple of minutes here, from the affiliate standpoint, the takeaways are that they receive the email directly in their inbox, so nice ways for you uh, to engage them directly. And then we also have the archive posted uh, online for them to resource, uh, re, uh, 
uh, revisit afterwards is the uh, word I'm looking for there. All right, within the content section, I'm going to bounce over within Link Dino itself. So now we're going to put on uh, our affiliate manager hats. Uh, I do have one question, someone asking if there's a connection issue. So not that I am aware of, but I am talking to you uh, through our internet connection, our Wi-Fi network. So it's generally good and has been good today. But if, if I do bounce um, in and out, I, I guess I, I apologize for that. Um, let me know if there's any parts that you miss afterwards and get you hooked up with uh, a revisit on anything specific that uh, a bad connection might have uh, cause us to miss out on. All right, uh, let's move into the content section here. I am going to customize the affiliate website. Content tab is about halfway down on the left-hand side. This is where I'm going to click the configure uh, website button, go ahead and start, uh, start uh, putting our affiliate website together. Everything through here, the settings all customizable, so you'll probably want to run with our mobile friendly version, you can select the color scheme, you can get the logo that you wanna run with, additional settings available uh, down here. So for example, if, if you want to require affiliate approval, you can toggle that one uh, over to on. Uh, throughout the header, introduction, instructions, that is all customizable as well. So you can uh, update the text within anything here, or you can insert images and links or update the HTML directly. We do support custom CSS, so if you want to further style the dashboard, you can do it. A uh, question I actually have from someone this morning uh, thinking about using Lead Nano is about uh, terms of service. So that is something that we support. The way that uh, you'll have affiliates opt into a terms of service is get your agreement in here. Uh, I would recommend, of course, having your own legal counsel or whoever you're using for that drafted, uh, but you can get your own terms of service in here. That's between you and the affiliate, but we will flash this to them and require them to opt in before they sign up if you have this setting uh, on. Also in the content section, the Facebook post that I showed you earlier, this is where we can craft that. So from the uh, Facebook side of things, this is where we can write the title, uh, the body of the Facebook post, uh, same with the tweet, so you can pre-write this stuff uh, as well. I find if you can, I think if you spend a couple of minutes writing the pre-writing the tweets for people, pre-writing the Facebook posts, and then maybe every month or two come in, update this. What you're going to do is you're going to reward the people who frequently share this a lot by giving them something unique. Uh, they're going to be more likely to share by having this content available for them. If you think about it, something that takes you or me maybe a few minutes, uh, a few minutes a month, but if you, you kind of multiply that over hundreds of affiliates or even thousands of affiliates, uh, a lot of time saver uh, collectively there as well. All right, with that, let me move into a few of our key tools. I actually wanted to check, see if I were up to, uh, this is for the Lead Dino affiliate program. You can see our next affiliate will actually be our 2000, uh, number 2000. So stuck at uh, partying like it's 1999 here, two new affiliates in the last day, 21 more in the last week. So I'm gonna take you through some of the tools that I use to manage these folks. We'll get into recruitment. So I'll talk about how we can get your own affiliate uh, recruitment efforts ramped up like ours and, and, and maybe even beyond. And then we'll get into any questions that you've got. So from our tools menu, this is where we can write the affiliate newsletter. So a lot of questions I get from folks who get their initial affiliates in the door. They're all excited. They want to know what to do next, uh, what, what to get, what, what they want to do to get folks going. I always recommend writing an affiliate newsletter. And if you're stuck for ideas, we've actually got some templates that I have uh, used and sent out available now in the template dropdown. So these were uh, newsletters I was sharing with uh, some of our users 101 uh, said, hey, why not make these available to everyone? So four basic templates, and honestly, uh, if you just kind of cycle through these, uh, that might be all you ever need from the affiliate newsletter standpoint. But the idea here is that we're reaching out to affiliates, uh, letting them know uh, that especially when commission payments are going out the door. That's always a nice way, as I mentioned, to get their attention. If they have something new, uh, new product, new feature, if you've got something new that you want to mention, that's a good thing to do in here as well. We also have automated emails. So these are nice because these are going out based on certain events. So near and dear to my heart because Lead Nano doing the heavy lifting here in terms of communicating with people. I don't need to sit there and send these emails individually. A uh, new affiliate signup is going to go out as folks buy from you and we'll invite them to join your affiliate program. 
Uh, see, I always get the scan stamp up. I need to turn off this update. Same webinar every time, every week. I do not want to update. I want to end the update. All right. Sorry for that interruption. So uh, we do have a welcome email. So your affiliates will get their affiliate link, their link to their affiliate dashboard. So a nice little welcome email. Again, it kicks out when they sign up with you. We've also got status updates. You can let folks know how they did for the week. So their sales pipeline for the given week. If you want to let folks know every time they get credit for a new lead or a new conversion, you can do this here as well. Affiliate recruitment, and then we'll get into questions. And I do have a question already on commissions, an additional question on commissions. So let me go ahead and get into this. I do also have someone saying a clear reception on their end. So thanks for the feedback there. So uh, hopefully good for everyone else on the line as well. Let's talk about affiliate recruitment. Uh, I am going to start with our affiliate invitation email. What we're doing here is we're emailing new customers as they buy from us, reaching out to them, thanking them for their purchase, and letting them know about our affiliate program and inviting them to join. So it's a nice way to get a two for one. You've got a new customer. We want to see if we can turn that person into a new affiliate of yours at the same time. Not much you need to do beyond enabling this email, sign your name to it, and you'll be off and running. And again, this is a good uh, source of our own uh, organic recruitment on our end. So it's worked well for us. I uh, would encourage you to uh, strongly consider this. We also have for you an affiliate website. So if I go back to the dashboard and I log myself out, uh, here I am in the uh, affiliate dashboard uh, sign up page. So uh, you can share this link, whether you're going to use our hosted link or whether you're going to uh, host it on your own domain for potential uh, prospective affiliates to get signed up to join your program here. So they can uh, log in, uh, write their uh, name, email address, and they will be off and uh, running here as well. Finally, affiliate our affiliate network. So ecommerceaffiliates.com. This is our own network that we've been building up uh, through the years with folks who love uh, selling products uh, similar to yours and like doing it on a commission only basis. We've got 21 different product categories across the board. What we do when we get you into our network is you can join uh, here. You'll sign up for a product category. We'll talk about your uh, affiliate program and then folks can click the apply button to join. If you've got auto access on, they'll basically be rerouted to your affiliate dashboard right away, and uh, they can then get access to your affiliate program uh, from there. We also uh, have newsletters that we go out and use these to feature uh, products and programs within the different categories. One of our uh, cuter newsletters went out a couple days ago regarding our pet uh, products. So lots of nice uh, pictures of doggies and puppies uh, within this particular one, uh, letting folks know, letting pet uh, focus the affiliates to influencers know about these. As I mentioned, 21 different product categories. So we've got some more for you. Health, fitness, beauty, business, clothing, software as a service. So lots of options in here. Uh, let us know if you have questions. I can actually work with you directly on setting this up if you are interested. All right, with that, let's go ahead. Let me uh, close by reminding you that we do one-on-one uh, -on -one phone calls as well. So if you are interested in uh, setting up time to chat one-on-one -on -one for any follow-up questions you have today. Uh, we would be happy to talk with you. I'll give you this link in the chat window so you can uh, get to this as well. All right, let me go ahead and get into the questions now. So I got some more questions coming in. Okay. Uh, question on the compensation. So is there a way to compensate the same affiliate differently depending on how the lead goes through the process. For example, lead buys with and without a sales team, 30% no sales, 20% uh, if the sales team is needed. Okay, uh, no way to do that for the same affiliate. Now you could bucket affiliates into what we call affiliate types, and you could have different commissions uh, for different affiliates, basically different types of affiliates. So the way that you would uh, do that, something that we can walk you through, but let me show you is, uh, the way in the for affiliate type. So I'm paying 20% here for my affiliates. If I want to pay my resellers a different amount, I can do that. Just a different percentage would apply to, would apply to them. But basically, it's going to be the same uh, for each affiliate in that type, unless you want to manually override it, which is possible. It might get a little tedious uh, if you're doing that over a few times. Okay, and then I got a, a HubSpot user as well here. So on the HubSpot side of things, uh, we got a couple things going on with the HubSpot integration. I'm sure you maybe you found us in the HubSpot store here, but uh, you can connect this up with your HubSpot account 
what we'll do is we'll put the leads that we collect from Lead Dino directly into your HubSpot account. You can also then use HubSpot to send out affiliate newsletters. So that's an option as well. I actually sent out this newsletter here using uh, AWeber. Uh, HubSpot uh, newsletter would be the same idea. So we're going to put all of your affiliates into HubSpot and you could send out a newsletter from there uh, potentially if you're interested as well. Question on uh, signing up affiliates. Does someone have to buy my product or join my membership to become an affiliate? No, uh, generally it's gonna be a uh, publicly accessible program, but if you want to have affiliate approval required on your end, uh, you could do that. So that is a setting if you want to require approval for affiliates under our tool, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's in our content section, that uh, configure affiliate website section and require affiliate approval if you want to approve people. Uh, otherwise, no, it is a uh, publicly open uh, uh, open uh, kind of forum uh, for folks. Okay, and then uh, someone using HubSpot for everything who just wants a way to track the affiliates that come through. Yeah, so you can use uh, Lead Nano in tandem then with HubSpot. We will also send out affiliate links. Uh, make those, those are actually available in HubSpot as well. Uh, I think these are all on our, let me see if I got a guide for you on specific. So if I go to our docs page and let me go down to HubSpot, let me get, yeah. So this will walk you through uh, how you set up the accounts and how you set up new contact details, what uh, populates into HubSpot. So here's a good resource for you on that side of things as well. Okay, I will send that out through the chat window, but if you don't get it uh, through there, let me know. Uh, oh, more about affiliate approval. Yeah, so I'm not sure when that question came in when I was on it. But yeah, if you want uh, to require affiliate approval, toggle this to on, uh, write a little message. This is for folks who are waiting for your approval and then you hit save and that'll be good to go. And then when you log in, you'll get notified that you've got affiliates who have applied. You'll have to approve them before they're granted access to your affiliate program. Okay, cool. I got someone with their hand up and I'm not sure if that's an old question or a new one. If you want to go ahead and type in your question, I can get to that now. Otherwise, we can circle back. Uh, we can circle back on that as well. Popular question I get, commissions. Uh, what should I offer in terms of commissions? Of, you know, as much as I say, hey, every business is different. People want some hard numbers. So here's a little write-up that we did. Uh, did some research into our own affiliate network looked at the top 10 programs uh, within each uh, network here. So this is what uh, we found. The top 10 affiliate programs across the 21 product categories. Here's the range of payments if you're interested in uh, taking advantage of this. What does payment look like? Okay, let me do a payment actually for you. So if I'm gonna pay folks, uh, the easiest way is gonna be with PayPal MassPay. That's gonna let you pay a bunch of people at once. We do have a way that you can step through uh, you can step through PayPal MassPay to pay folks one at a time. What you can do, 